Hi everyone, it's Fsketch your fashion drawing tutorials and in this lesson we're going to render the second look from Balmain Prefall 2018 collection. I hope you enjoy it, so let's start. First, I start drawing the pose and usually when I draw head, I do it in a very simple way. Here the head is a little bit turned to the side, so I just drew regular head and then moved all facial features to the side a little bit. And now I'm just uh, uh, making both sides a bit asymmetric. Here you can see more of a cheekbone and on this side less of it. And we need to show the back of your head, but I will show that just with hair. Very similar just to the usual way that we draw head and there is separate tutorial for head drawing and face so then I draw neck and since I have two girls I just try to keep shoulders uh, waist and everything uh, on the same level so here your shoulders are a bit sloped and your spine is a bit curved because of this difference in the angle of your shoulders and hips. So hips are sloped in the opposite direction. Again, we're looking at her from the side, her breasts are located to the left. And here you can see all possible positions of your elbow if you count the length until the elbow. And I pick the one when, when I draw the rest of your arm. Uh, I can put the palm in exactly this position. And first I draw the palm and then I add fingers and then I draw her back. And the same here. I draw the same length until elbow and then I add the rest of your arm. One knee is at the same level as the side of her neck and the right side knee is just next to it so um, the right side ankle I decided to put it a bit aside so next I'm drawing her closing so she has turtleneck and uh, the crotch part is um, closed So then she has this uh, lightning-like pattern and she has this crescent in the center, like moon. So let's make your sleeves a bit wider. have some wrinkles at the elbow let's draw here trousers she has boot cut type of trousers and again we have some wrinkles uh, behind her knees So next I take a fine line pen, I use Sakura Micron 0.1 black fine liner and I just, uh, just outline all the details. For nose I usually show only nostrils uh, because uh, the rest I show with shadows, there is no need to outline everything and closing I usually outline everything but it's just because of my style I use caramel marker so just light brown for your hair as a base just like in the first look then I use true blue and I just color that central upper part so let's add a little bit of royal blue it's 
a bit darker than true blue and I use a red fine line pen and more of royal blue I apply it with dots and here we have the indigo blue which is darker if you have different markers you can just use um, similar colors now I'm using warm gray 5 uh, which is quite close to brown I color everything behind her neck the inner part and then um, I just leave some parts light and I try to apply marker with long strokes so usually more prominent parts are lighter next I'm using a tan pro marker for the shadows on her face under her nose on the side of her nose cheekbones just contouring under her chin and with white in gel pen now I'm I put dotted lines on her on her neck so more dots on the chest part And then between those dotted lines, I draw some like zigzagish lines with a black fine liner just to separate them. And a little bit more of white dots. I'm using ruby color for red details. And with a satin Pro marker, I'm coloring the rest of her skin. And cool gray five for the shoulders. And I'm also applying some dots on the top of true blue with cool gray five and some black dots for the contrast. Uh, just scribbling with red fine line pen and here we will have some stripes and dots now I'm using correction pen just regular office correction pen and uh, making these dots along red stripes and also as you can see uh, dots made with correction pen are much brighter so and I like when there is this difference of some very subtle white dots and uh, strong ones so that's why i use both pen and correct correction pen and ink pen and cool gray five for the central part i colored that crescent totally So next I'm using white pen to draw that crescent and uh, all that pattern. Uh, apply several times because white ink gel pen is not opaque enough and it looks a bit translucent. So more dots and lines around. And I apply cool gray 5 again because it looks a bit light. So we need more of a contrast. Again, white ink pen. Uh, and some royal blue to give uh, some tint. So as you can see, sometimes I draw lines, sometimes dots. Here I draw diagonal lines. So I'm just taking a look at the reference image. Since it's not my design, it's by Mon. So uh, true blue. You know, when this white ink or correction pen dries, you can color on the top with any color just try to be careful with the marker not to scratch it and I use correction pen 
to define that crescent and add some strong white dots. And you can add any dark red on the top of Ruby for the texture again, because here it's like sequins. Royal blue. Cool gray five. We work in a similar way. It's just everywhere uh, there are like uh, different patterns. I use indigo blue for your bed. And with cool gray 5, I desaturate it a bit and darken. With the same cool gray 5, I color her, the rest of her sleeves just leaving some parts. For that I use uh, aubergine, mandarin and uh, some blue. With uh, black fine line pen I add texture. So I outline small details I outline the crescent, I draw some circles on the top of those white dots, uh, just, you know, to make it more dimensional. And uh, because when you draw everything with white, everything blends and it doesn't look that interesting. With the black, I'm adding some dark dots on the sides to show the shadows. And on the armpits, on the side of her body and some um, black dots on her sleeves. You see the part with wrinkles at the elbow is darker. With royal blue I color lower central part and uh, more of the strokes. And let's add some highlights with white ink pen. Uh, chin, nose, under uh, near the inner corner of your eyes and iris. And with brown pencil I show the texture of your hair. Because uh, usually with markers we show the base and then work with pencils. Now black pencil to uh, token. and more strokes, more dots. Uh, here we have the strokes, like uh, lines of dots. So more of correction pen. So you can draw strokes with correction pen, just be careful, don't push too hard, otherwise too much liquid will get out. So indigo blue and more cool gray 5 on her back to make it even darker. I leave the sides of the back partially uncolored to show the highlights, uh, some plum and red. Here also these crystals are arranged in lines, just like, you know, they look as a huge petals, quite interesting. More of a cool gray five. Usually if you get tired, you better can do something like have a pause because um, usually here there are m a lot of details and you can get tired and if you get tired you can spoil something. So be careful. And 
have a rest if you need. So I'm just using the same colors, cool gray 5, royal blue. And now with uh, white ink gel pen, I'm showing metal details of your bag. So here is a fastening and here she has some chains and she she's holding the bag and these chains too so later we'll show them going through her fingers and here are um, some uh, pins and a thread thread line you just draw them like a dashed line and as you can see those white strokes became blue so we will need to use several layers of white pen for that metal detail and i just drew diagonal lines intersecting ones and in the centers um, you can put some dots so and on your closing i'm adding extra dots with correction pen to make them brighter Don't miss some parts, like uh, with, uh, leaving them without dots or lines. I often used to do so, forget some parts, but I do that less now. So first I applied tan on her hand and uh, later add setting. So for her other sleeve uh, I used indigo blue and black so here trousers as a base I'm using uh, royal blue just color everything so uh, I opened the door to post pen and I got that border you see on your right side leg so when you let the marker dry you you then get that border so next indigo blue for the sides to get really a good contrast and for even stronger contrast I'm using cool gray 5. And just don't put it in the same way. So royal blue again to blend those markers. So now we have a beautiful shiny trousers. I want to finish working with your other sleeve the upper body in general so again rows of dots like you can see three rows of dots and extra dots with a correction pen uh, be brave when adding things like don't worry Practice more and then you will do all these things intuitively and when you see any texture you will just know how to render it. So next I'm drawing these zigzagish lines. One after another one and all through the trousers. They don't have to be perfect. But you know, still try to be careful. Next I'm adding dots and uh, more of indigo blue on the sides for the contrast and uh, white dots with uh, white ink gel pen because uh, we have quite shiny trousers. I'm just showing this chain again scribbling nothing special and some white on the top of it next cool gray 5 
for the contrast and a little bit of black between her legs but you should be careful with that part indigo in the center and sides uh, using again tan and uh, setting for her feet and now I have some blue uh, like cyan color some pink and a little bit of yellow uh, I needed to show holographic effect but I've overdone so I'm just uh, coloring some parts with white and that's enough some shadows under her trousers okay so just minor work and we are done with this sketch I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you followed the instructions so I will be happy to see your works on Instagram just tag it with fsketcher share your questions and suggestions subscribe to fsketcher channel for more tutorials support fsketcher on patreon and get access to exclusive content and see you next time